you have to forgive the dirtiness of my truck. I'm traveling right now. This is the On Cassette. I bought this at Walmart. And it's a, uh, I think I bought it for about $10, $15. And it's pretty, it's pretty sturdy. It has a good quality build to it. There's no uh noise when you put it inside the cassette player. There's no noise. There's no hiss. It, it sounds really, really smooth. It's a really smooth little uh cassette tape. Now what these do, this is a Bluetooth cassette player. I mean, uh, uh this is a Bluetooth tape for if you want to listen to your audio through your radio and you have one of these radios with a uh, little cassette thing right here. This helps you out because you don't have to worry about no additional cords like some of the, the precessors. The precessor, this one is a uh, car cassette adapter. And it has this big old janky cord. And I have to, because I have an iPhone, I have to plug it into this dongle. Now, wasn't nothing wrong with, with this at first, but because you have to continuously use this thing, like any cord over time, it's going to fray, it's going to have cracks, fractures, stresses, and all that stuff inside of it, and it gets worn out really, really quickly, and so whenever I have this in the, in the uh, cassette player, it gives me a bunch of noise, it gives me a bunch of hiss. It, it, it starts uh, making a bunch of burp, 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 burp type noises. It, it might do it. It might not. You, you all know how it is. Just because I'm recording the video, it won't do it. <laughs> but uh, if you have a long drive like me, like I, I've been, I drove up here. I'm in Dallas right now. I drove up here and it was a really, really long trip. But I, I can't charge my phone and play this this music. Or if I do get a splitter cable, I can charge my phone and play the music. But then the music has hiss in it because the phone is charging on top of it. So it picks up the, the frequency from the phone charging. All that is horrible. Now, if you don't mind that, you know, stick with, stick with this. If you hate that, get one of these. Now, the on cassette player, the battery, when I first got it, I didn't charge it up, and it only gave me about an hour and 30 minutes. After I charged it, and after I used it continuously, the battery will last me pretty much all day. It lasted a full three-hour trip. It lasted a full four-hour trip. It lasted a full six-hour trip. And I don't know if that's just this one or if that's all of them. The first time, the battery sucked. But after you use it, the battery got really, really good, really, really fast. And it, it, it lasts me a good six-hour trip. <laughs> the tape head in it. Okay, so this is the problem I'm having with this thing right now. The tape head refuses to align with my tape cassette. And that wasn't a problem at first. At first, I put it in the radio, you know, and it does its thing, and it was fine. But now, look, look here. I'm push it into the radio. This arrow means it's, it's moving the, the track up. That one means it's moving it down. It's trying to align it, but it can't align it. And since it can't align it, it just spits it straight on out. That sucks because it means I have to go back to this thing. And you really don't realize how horrible this thing is until you've had your music played crystal clear through Bluetooth. <laughs> the hiss and the noise from this thing is, is honestly, it makes me want to throw this thing out the window. And I don't even think it's the tape. Well, yes, it is. It is the tape. Because when I play this, you can, there's a, a considerable difference in the way that the audio sounds. 
And for those of y'all who want a sound file, I'm, I apologize in advance because I can't give you a sound file, a sound sample right now. I, I just simply don't have a second device to do it. So you, you just have to bear with me. But the way it, it sounds, the Bluetooth sounds crystal clear in comparison to this cable. And I'm pretty sure if this was a, a higher a higher quality cassette tape like this one, then it probably would sound just as good with the cable. It probably it probably sound even better if it was a higher quality cassette. But since it's not, right now it, it doesn't sound good. The dongle is broken, that doesn't sound good. My port is is experiencing issues. My port doesn't put the music out good. There's nothing good about that that corded one in comparison to this Bluetooth one. Well, except that it, it lines up. <laughs> so just a quick overview of this thing. So you have LED, res, and USB. The USB is right here on the front. Hope you can see that. It's just the standard USB. This is the cable right here. It's just the standard USB cable. Nothing spectacular about it. The uh, LED, that's to let you know when it's powered on. Res, Res stands for reset. So every now and again, you'll have a few problems with this with this Bluetooth because they use a, uh, even though the, the sound sounds amazing, they use one of those standard off the shelf Bluetooth, the one that goes doo 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 doo. They, they use one of those. And, you know, it's, it's in everything <laughs> nowadays. But it, it's not like it's a huge problem. You push this button down here. This is the on off switch. Come on, focus. It's the on off switch and down there at the bottom, that's, that's the microphone. Now, let me tell you about the microphone. The microphone on this thing picks up every little sound there is. It is crystal clear. And I don't know if that's just for this one or if that's how all of them are. But I know on this one here, that microphone picks up every single sound. I was at a, a train stop, or not a train, but a tram stop. And this microphone picked up the, the, the weak horn of the tram passing by. It picks up the bumps when I pass over. I don't have to yell when they, when I'm talking on this on this Bluetooth. I can I can sit back in my seat and and talk comfortably and quietly and this bluetooth is still going to pick it up the speak the uh, microphone on this thing is amazing you press this button and hold it down that turns it on now it says it's connected on my phone when you want to turn it off you press and hold the button again that turns it off it turns off way faster than it turns on that's for certain but uh whenever you turn it on the first time you get it it's going to automatically go into pairing mode you don't have to have a, a password or, or a pin you don't have to have any of that stuff you just click on it and it'll take its time and they'll both sync when they sync it takes a few well not a few minutes but it takes a few seconds for it to line up with your phone so here here's my demonstration of it you're gonna turn it on it's gonna power up doo -doo -doo -doo. all right and then you're gonna hear two beeps doo -doo. now that's it's connected but the sound's not connected yet so then you have to wait about 30 seconds and then it, it might do do again or it might just go in and play your audio and it takes about 30 seconds to, to fully connect to your phone it's not just it powered on and it's instantly connected it takes about 30 seconds that's a little bit of a downside but hey the thing will last you six hours on the road you don't ever have to connect it again it has a pretty decent range to it because I went into the, uh, I, st I stopped at a Bucky's, that's a gas station here in Texas. And I went all the way to the back into the bathroom. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't think it, it kept signal way back there. 
but when I came back, it picked me up and it connected everything. And by the time I put my seatbelt on and then turned the truck back on and drove off, my music was connected and everything was ready to go. So you don't have to worry about it, you know, constantly doing stuff like that. It will connect and disconnect. I mean, not disconnect. It will connect, but not play sound every now and again. So whenever you have that problem, just turn it off and turn it right back on. And that'll that'll fix that problem. Whenever you want to pair to somebody else, just turn yours off and then let it sit for a minute. It'll go back into pairing mode and you don't have to press nothing on there. Uh, let me see. I, I never had to press anything on there, but let me see if I can like double tap the button and see if it'll go back into pairing mode or something. So let's see. I just turned my Bluetooth off. And yep, turned my Bluetooth off and it automatically went straight back into pairing mode. So it's looking for my Bluetooth right now. And there it goes, it found it. It's a neat little device, that's for certain. Okay. You can pause. You can pause the video. I mean, uh, not the video, but you can pause your music or video. It don't matter. You can pause it by just pressing the button once, like any Bluetooth. I tried pushing it twice to see if it, it skips ahead in the tracks and, and pushing it three times to see if it reversed the track. I haven't had any luck with that. Maybe I'm not doing the sequence right or maybe it just simply doesn't do that. But if you try it, let me know and see and, and tell me if it does. In the long term, I think this is a really good cassette. It's really, really well built. It's really quiet. Uh, stuff that I said at the beginning. It's really well built. It's really quiet. And it really sounds really nice. It captures all the tones of your music. It captures everything wonderfully. So if you need a Bluetooth cassette, I do recommend this one. Just make sure your well, tape player doesn't have a problem with it. Because mine obviously does. Because it does no good if you get it and now all of a sudden it's useless to you like mine it, it sucks honestly <laughs> sometimes you can realign the heads manually sometimes you can take an old tape and realign the head but regardless of what you do to it it's it's a pretty good tape it's a pretty good tape deck hopefully if you decide to get one it doesn't mess up and, and the uh, the tape deck doesn't misalign itself. And if it does, I don't know what to tell you. I haven't been in the house to take this thing apart yet or anything. But I hope it I hope it goes well for y'all if y'all decide to get this. I say my uh, tech videos are taking so long. Well, all my videos are taking long, but my tech videos are taking so long because I'm trying to to look at stuff for, for more than just a day or two and then give a review on it. I want to look at stuff in the long term and see how it works. And right now, this is the long term for this. I've had this about two months. Yeah, I've had this two months. And it's, it's, it's held up until last week. And now last week, that's when my problem started. And I'm, I'm, I don't know if it's a problem with the, the deck itself because it plays the other tape just fine or if it's a problem with the tape. So whichever one it is, I hope you don't have the same issue. And I hope you get a better lifespan out of it than I did. It still works. It still does amazing. It just won't align anymore. Alrighty. Well, I think I'm starting to repeat myself. So that's the end of this video. Oops. And then I went and dropped it. <laughs> yeah, that's the information on the back right there. I don't know if that you need that or whatnot, but there it is. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Y'all take care. And that's it.